Why aren't there um, female COD pros? Like, what is what what is the reason behind not having any COD pros that are females? Like, so I know there's a few like challengers players that are probably, um, like Alley Cat's been tweeting out looking for a team and challengers. Um, my best friend Jordan Visma, um, he's been hanging out with uh <clears throat> I think her name is Keeks. Uh it's Draza's girlfriend. Yeah, my Keeks uh, sounds familiar. Um, and they've been hanging out and she's looking for a team, I'm pretty sure. Um, a bunch of like huge female um esports. Uh, players have been, you know, trying to grind their way up in the challengers just like everybody else. But why in the history of, you know, COD esports has there not been one yet? So I I do think about this from time to time. Um, I think a big, I think the biggest part of it is there's just, and I'm, I'm sure it's different now than it was, say, Black Ops 1 through the Jetpack era. When did Fortnite come out? 2017? Yeah, so I'll say Black Ops 1 through the Jetpack era. I think the biggest part of it is there's just more guys playing Call of Duty. Like, from a numbers perspective, like, I'm sure there's plenty of females or women that have been playing games their whole life the same as the rest of us. However, in the scope of, like, the human population, at least in North America, because that's pretty much where COD lives... Um, I think it's much smaller. And the reason I cut off at the end of the jetpack era, because I think Fortnite put gaming on the map and made it like normal, right? Mm -hmm. Like it was no longer like geeky or nerdy to be playing games. It became like, shit, Ninja's playing with Drake, like Mm -hmm. this dope dude. And like, you know, there's a lot of athletes in the NBA and NFL that are gamers and like also stream and stuff like Snoop Dogg, T-Pain started streaming. Like all of a sudden streaming and gaming, it was like we were all doing it, but there was this weird mentality of like, oh, if you play 12 hours a day, you're a nerd, which might be true if you're playing 12 hours a day. But like mm-hmm. it became so accepted. And I think females have much more society pressure on them to be a certain way, um, look a certain way, dress a certain way, act a certain way. There's so many societal pressures that I think a lot of women that maybe did grow up playing games or and everything maybe hit it a little bit more because of those societal pressures. And now that everything's accepted and normal and like all that, I do think that the time will come. Uh, I It's hard to say because there's so many like, challenger seems and so many people playing but it could at this point come down to maybe there hasn't been a female call of duty player that's proven to be in the top 0.01 percent maybe they're in the top two percent maybe they're in the top one percent but like the top one percent will get you to a d1 college you have to be in the top one percent of that one percent to make it to the nba or nfl so i think it will definitely happen What I would be interested to see is will it happen because an organization decides they need to be the first organization to sign a female COD pro? Or will it happen because a female COD pro is truly just better, a better fit, which I would like to see. I'm I'm a big, I played sports all my life. You said you were active your whole life. So I assume you also Mm -hmm. did a lot of sports. Yep. I I don't like it when you see competitive integrity sacrificed for inclusion, um, which yep. plenty of people will probably disagree with me on that. But from a purely competitive standpoint, like. No, and they definitely got to earn it. I yeah. think it goes back to like. I do think with video games real quick, too, that video games are much easier. Like, we don't need to make a female COD league. I don't think mm-hmm. the way that like NBA, WNBA, like most physical sports, you have separate leagues for a reason. Um, yeah. I think with video games, you could, you could have a, just one, one league. And once we hit 16 or, or 20 teams, 
Like, I think the other thing that's weird too is because of the fact that it's most, it's pretty much all guys. A lot of women try to make female teams or mm-hmm. we're a girls COD team, which is great, but it, could it be better? Like, like why not be co-ed? Like if you're yep. trying to make the best team possible, it should just be the best team possible. Yeah. Like, I don't know. Those are my thoughts. I totally I'm sure. I'm sure. Depending on how many views this this gets, there's going to be some controversy in the comments, yeah. which which is fine. I'm I'm open. Yeah, to, I'm open to conversation I, I, and talking about things. Exactly, and I totally agree. Like, I I think it'd be wrong for an org to pick up a girl just because she's a girl and they want to have the first yeah. <clears throat> female cod pro. I think it's definitely about skill. I mean, it's just a question that I've had. Like. Well, why hasn't there been? Well, it's like, if they do that too, it's almost like, like if I'm in that position, if I'm a female and, and I get signed and I feel like I didn't earn it, it's always going to be in the back of my head. Like, which like might be good because if you're competing, like you do want to prove yourself. But like, I would hate to have that thought in the back of my head of like, did I actually earn this? Or was like my gender or sex a big enough part of the conversation? I don't know. Continue though. Well, it's just like it's just like with Sensor, you know, he's a huge Doug's a huge personality in the COD scene. He's been yeah. around forever. He's grinding. But I think it's in the same sense of the reason he hasn't got a spot, which is a good thing. It's like teams aren't like looking at his personality. They're looking at his skill. Mm-hmm. and making sure that you know he's grinding and putting in the hours instead of just like looking at how many followers he has and adding them to the team yeah uh, which is good because it's a, it's a step in the right direction for uh future female comp pros too because they want to look at the skill over what gains them yeah i will so. say and and this is kind of proof that like I think it's gonna happen at some point. But like if you look at these war zone tournaments, females are they're making waves. Like there's tons that are starting to be involved and included in and not just big names like Midnight, who who's been doing this for 12 years, um, or right. Holly, who, you know, it's it's Damon's wife and like but but like Taylor Eggie. I don't know if you if you follow her, but like I started kind of following her when she started streaming like an apex, like early, early apex. Mm -hmm. And like, she's been crushing it. She's been doing a phenomenal job. Um, She's played in some of these smaller tournaments and stuff. Um, So like, I think seeing that, seeing how many women and, and females are starting to be involved in these war zone tournaments. Like it's only a matter of time before some organization somewhere goes she's the, the she just outperformed everyone in a war zone tournament like does she also play regular cod esports and how is she going to perform like let's get her into some scrims yeah i like, totally agree like it's a different like Warzone and competitive cod are different but like the skills there regardless it's mostly just thinking at that point. Like, how are you playing it? Yeah. Totally agree with that. That um, was a good one. That's, I think that's a, a much needed conversation too. Like no one's talking about it. 